hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today i have a recipe video for you all and today's one is a vrat special or ikadashi special recipe i'm going to show you how to make this potato cutlets with chestnut flour which you can easily make at home and have during your fast so without further ado let's begin with the recipe so first i'm taking around one cup of chestnut flour which is also known as singhara art and local language then i'm adding some chopped green chilies some salt as per taste and i'm going to mix this dry ingredients very well once mixed properly i'm going to add water a little at a time to make a smooth consistency batter for making our cutlets So this is how the consistency of our batter should be like, neither too runny nor too thick. So I'm gonna keep it aside and meanwhile prepare the potato mixture for our cutlets. Here I've taken some mashed potatoes, I've taken 3 large size potatoes and I'm adding some fresh chopped green chilies, some roasted peanuts, you can even add peanut powder if you wish to. And then I'm adding some fresh salt or sindhanama and then I'm going to mix it properly with my hands. So as you can see I'm taking decent portions of the mixture and giving shapes of cutlets. I'm going to prepare all the cutlets like so and then I'm going to start frying my cutlets. So for frying our cutlets here I've heated a pan and I'm adding peanut oil. If you're not having this for your fast you can add any kind of refined oil. So now I'm coating my cutlets with the chestnut flour batter which we have already prepared and I'm dropping them very gently one by one. I'm going to cook them at a low to medium flame and I'm going to cook them until they are crispy and golden brown in color. Once one side of the cutlet is cooked properly, we're gonna flip them gently. By gently, I mean very gently. As you can see how beautiful this cutlass looks like, these are very crispy, perfectly cooked inside out and very delicious to have. So I hope you guys will try this out in your next Ikadashi or Navratris or any sort of broth. And you can absolutely customize the ingredients as per your preference. And I hope this video was helpful to you guys in some way or the other. And if it was, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And that was all for today. I will see you all in the next one. Till then, stay happy, take care and thank you so, so much for watching.